Tristan, it's been a year. What have you been up to? Give us a quick update. We've been very, very busy for the uh, Safe Sky community. So uh, it's been a, a very, very big growth this year. Uh, Safe Sky is now about 65,000 pilots using the application. Wow. We have 40,000 registered aircraft. And in 2023, we have provided an average of 50 traffic alerts per pilot. Uh, which is quite significant and is also showing uh, how it's important to get anti-collision uh, information while in flight. In parallel, we have continued to increase our traffic sources uh, with two principal axes. The first one is the collection of uh, uh, electronic device uh, like transponder uh, data capturing. So we have partnership with even more uh, ground station providers and we are all even rolling out our own ground station network which is uh, really helping to spot, especially in the UK, modest traffic by using this triangulation. And last but not least, we don't want anyone to be left apart. We have integrated natively into even more other apps and other electronic devices, especially in the world of free flight, to continue to make all this world visible to general aviation and vice versa. And SafeSky is today included in more than 15 different uh, external systems like Flymaster, Sirid, Gaggle, uh, uh, and many others. And, and I believe you've been going for three years and to kind of, I don't know if it was to celebrate three years or if it was just uh, Correct. happenstance, but you had Safe Sky version three. Exactly. What, what, what did that bring? So to celebrate uh, uh, with the communities uh, our third anniversary, we have released Safe Sky 3. We spent a, a lot of time during the year to interview and to visit our pilots to understand and listen very carefully to their needs and how could we make Safe Sky even better. Let me show you a, a quick demonstration of the, of the new things. So among the, uh, the new things, uh, we have introduced on the map layer uh, a light uh, version of airspaces where you can spit, you can, sorry, you can see the, uh, the CTR and the various TMA. And it's been reported from uh, our pilots that when they were um, finding a traffic, it was interesting to have it in the context of an aeronautical uh, thing. So if a traffic is leaving a CTR, you can expect, you can predict it will go to <coughs> a reporting point or something. So this is helping uh, both on the uh, map view and the radar view to be able to see that. So that's not for navigation, that's really just for awareness and situational awareness. Absolutely, pure situational awareness. No way you can navigate with the software, purely contextual. The second thing is quite revolutionary. We have introduced what we call the smart radar. So the smart radar, it's an advanced radar that is inspired by TCAS technology. In the previous version of SafeSky, we, you were getting traffic alerts basically with anything around you within a minute. And that can be a bit polluting, especially when you are flying a flight pattern of a circuit or those type of things. So now the way it's working, which I can demonstrate here, so I'm starting a simulator mode now. The way it's working is that the, um, uh, the velocity of the aircraft and uh, the Traffic speed vector is actually used to calculate Danger. the convergence. Traffic 7 o'clock. And uh, based on this, only relevant alerts will pop uh, to you. So here in this example, we have Danger. a sample Traffic aircraft that is uh, going on the left side of us. And at the moment, it's still representing a danger. But at a certain moment, his, his, its velocity compared to us will prove that it's going away anyway. And there is no way to be triggered with, with an alert. Warning. So it's now a decreasing warning. And it will end up as a traffic information only. OK. So uh, this is especially very, very efficient when you are in busy places. Uh, uh, and um, uh, at, at an airport, approaching an airfield and in the flight pattern. So that's the smart radar. Another thing that is interesting that you probably have seen, we have now the weather ahead of us. It's been a requested feature. It's not directly part of anti-collision, but the fact that you have the uh, weather ahead of you, well, first of all, it helps you. Um, you have under your eyes when you're doing your checklist, uh, when you start your engine, uh, you have the QNH, you have the various information at your disposal. It's handy. And when you are in flight, it's always going to pick up the next meter Danger. ahead of you. Traffic so ahead of you, it's taking that from your heading? Correct. OK. Correct. And then you know if you're going to good weather or bad weather. And it's just an additional information to, uh, to, to help uh, that. And uh, it's Danger. not only available Traffic on the radar view. You can also, um, if I go on the UK, You also have this uh, button here where, where you click on it, then it's going to show you, uh, let's return to Germany. It's showing you all the meta information. Uh, hang on a second, there's lots of good weather in the UK. That must, yeah, that must be wrong. <laughs> yes. 
So here, you, when you click on it, you get the, uh, the meta information and yeah. the TAF when available. And then on one click, you can actually see the, uh, the, the sailing for the clouds. You can see the speed and the direction and you can see the visibility. So oh, it's cool. a handy tool not to replace any uh, proper navigation system or anything. It's just uh, it just come handy uh, with what we have implemented. And that's uploaded by the cellular. Correct. Network. Yes. And it's updating every time uh, there is a, a refresh on the meta servers. Cool. Another thing that is interesting, it's uh, our pilots who are reporting to us. Well, when I fly with friends, um, we know we are together. We are in a formation flight and I get then polluted alerts. It's permanently uh, uh, <coughs> giving me uh, incorrect information in that case. So now we've made it very easy to actually um, disregard uh, friends that are flying with, with you. You have two options. Either you spot him on the screen and when you click on the radar, you can mute the alerts for this aircraft right from here. Okay. Or the other way, you can click this button here and you get presented with all the traffics that are in your vicinity ordered by the proximity. And you can just select your friends that you don't want to receive alerts from. And then you can do the navigation uh, all together. Oh, that's pretty cool. And um, uh, last but not least, uh, we have still the option which we have improved uh, on, on this release. You still have your fellow pilots, so you can invite your friends. And when you are in the air, if you want to meet somewhere, you can click on this button. I have no friends flying at the moment, probably due to the weather. And you are able then to localize them uh, and eventually send them a message, like a, a notification message uh, to uh, give them some information. Excellent. The social side of it. So in that, that's released now, in the, that's in the app stores now. Yes, it's in the app stores now for both uh, iOS and Android. Android. And, um, uh, and I invite everyone to, uh, to download it now. And also, uh, for every new download on this version 3, there is a free trial that is activated systematically so that pilots can experience the premium features, um, such as the uh, connection to uh, navigation software like uh, SkyDemon, which is still obviously... Uh, That's the GDO90 yes, correct. protocol. Excellent. And, um, the, the basic features are still free? All the features uh, related to security are free and will always remain free. All the traffic visibility is free for everyone. The only features that you have to pay for, for the premium subscription, <coughs> are uh, corresponds to comfort feature. Okay. The smart radar that I showed to you is part of the comfort feature. If you are not running the premium, you have the basic radar as it okay. was before. And how much is the premium? So we did not change any prices at all. Everything okay. is becoming more expensive. Sefsky remains at thirty-four ninety-nine a year. Uh, so uh, that's uh, good for pilots. Well, what have you got planned for the next year? Have you, have you done all the work? Are you going to sit back or is there other, other things happening? Yes, we are very, very excited because the future is already here today at Aero. From the beginning of Sefsky, we have always wanted to provide anti-collision systems regardless of uh, what you fly. Being a paramotor, a paraglider, uh, an ultralight pilot, or a general aviation, we want to provide you with a solution. So we started originally with the Sefsky application. Then we extended by being natively integrated to other systems, such as Air Navigation Pro, Easy VFR, Flymaster devices, and so on. Uh, but lately, we made another partner partnership with a company called Avionics, which is just next door. And we have announced for the show this Aero Tracker device. So this device is a state-of-the-art uh, piece of technology that combines two things. It's combining radio and Sefsky over internet. So this tracker over the radio is able to receive all the traffic on the 1090 megahertz frequency, including then ADSB, but also all the traffic on the 868 megahertz, which includes pilot aware, um, uh, uh, OGN network, uh, FANET and all the different systems, and also the latest uh, uh, EASA standard ADSL. So it's able to receive this ADSL new protocol. It's not only a receiver, it's also a transmitter. It transmits with OGN tracker and the ADSL standard as well. So this is already future proof. In addition, it's uh, embedding the Sefsky inside the technology. And this technology provides then access to our uh, systems and is sharing the position to the rest of the Sefsky community. And in return, it's returning all the traffic uh, from the Sefsky into this tracker. So you connect it to SkyDemon and you're going to see the best of both worlds on your SkyDemon, which includes radio traffic and internet traffic. 
last but not least, all the traffic that is going to be received by you operating this station in your aircraft will also be rebroadcasted over the internet to the Safe Sky community. So as a pilot, you're going to contribute <coughs> to the safety of everyone by operating a flying station for others. And that's just a complete e-port. Is there a GPS in there? There is a GPS in it. There is a GSM. There are two uh, LT antenna. And there is a single antenna for both 1090 and 868. It's very compressed. It's a, a portable device. Uh, it has a built-in battery. It can last between six to eight hours of flight time. And if it's not enough, you can charge it in flight using a standard USB-C. The product uh, is uh, under uh, completion. We are completing the development. It should be released this summer below 900 euros. And it will also ship with a built-in SIM card for all Europe, including UK. And, uh, and that's it. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to, I look forward to the launch in the summer uh, and having a fly with one of those. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Next year, we can talk about the next things. Exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's been great catching up. Thank you.